Hello, this is Jackpot here. Today I will be reading a variety of denied suggestions on the forums of Garnet Gaming. Some of these form responses will also be read dependent on how intellectually valuable they are. In certain cases, reactions will also be notified at the end per response by person. The link will be in the description below. Let Tally Cook by Tally Posted April 11, 2023 Remove donor factions completely. Donator factions, Marsak and Badri 313, have become an outstanding issue within MRP. Not only do these factions not usually get used or bought, but when they do, they steal from the base population from each side of the server. Players that get blacklisted from other factions usually use donator factions and abuse the permissions of donor factions. For example, hosting tryouts simultaneously as a certain faction does to steal possible members away. Trying to forcefully overrule rulings with a made up rank that they gave to themselves is overall a waste of server space and should just be removed entirely due to most members just joining for the snipers. Aren't we just trying to fix the sniping issue on this map? Every faction that is available in the server should have a use. The donor faction side, Garnet Gaming MRP, can be seen more as nuisances than actual good that can be done for the server. There are players legitimately using Marsoc as a main faction because it's all they truly need. I say we completely remove donator factions from the server. The player base is somewhat in a struggle, as is and having a fourth life friend faction take away members from the already struggling player base. This takes a toll on the server. Acer posted April 11th, 2023. Please stop with these stupid fucking titles. Plus one. The reactions are listed as follows. Four crybabies. Three ha-has. One cringe. One toxic. Two agrees. One angry boy. Joe one. Posted April 11th, 2023. Plus one. Don't get me wrong. I know he makes good money off of the Dono factions, but it is a redundant towards both factions. When someone buys Marsoc, they no longer want to do activities or be involved with anyone except for fellow Marsoc players. If we're going to buddy buddy up in a faction, let's leave it up to the tier 1 factions that actually require some aspect of skill to get into. Not a tryout someone came up with using what are likely 8 month old documents from someone else RP fact. Eric Carp, April 13th, 2023. Plus one. In my opinion, it should be limited to three friends. That way, it doesn't steal from US or Tally. At this same time, during our Marsoc, we tell them it's a third life faction and don't main this faction, it's just for fun. People will not listen though and will main the faction anyways. I don't see them getting removed ever but the class limits could hold only one person each, so you have to give your friends that one whitelist, and they can only have that whitelist. Fonza, posted April 26th at 0925 p.m. 2023. Denied. All the issues listed can be solved in game or brought up with staff considering donor factions can't overrule regular players. Reactions. One like from IR Gunner. Two ho what's from Draco and Reynolds. One dumb by Towley. This concludes Let Towley Cook. Sub factions and sock overhaul by Sailor Death. Posted April 10th, 2023. Hello, this is Jackpot here. Today I will be reading a variety of denied suggestions on the forums of Garnet Gaming. 
some of these form responses will also be read dependent on how intellectually valuable they are. In certain cases, reactions will also be notified at the end, per response by person. The link will be in the description below. Let Tauli Cook by Tauli Posted April 11th, 2023 Remove donor factions completely. Donator factions Marsak and Badri 313 and become an outstanding issue within MRP. Not only do these factions not usually get used or bought, but when they do, they steal from the base population from each side of the server. Players that get blacklisted from other factions usually use donator factions and abuse the permissions of donor factions. For example, hosting tryouts simultaneously as a certain faction does to steal possible members away. Trying to forcefully overrule rulings with a made up rank that they gave to themselves is overall a waste of server space and should just be removed entirely due to most members just joining for the snipers. Aren't we just trying to fix the sniping issue on this map? Every faction that is available in the server should have a use. The donor faction side, Garnet Gaming MRP, can be seen more as nuisances than actual good that can be done for the server. There are players legitimately using Marsoc as a main faction because it's all they truly need. I say we completely remove donator factions from the server. The player base is somewhat in a struggle, as is and having a fourth life friend faction take away members from the already struggling player base. This takes a toll on the server. Joe One posted April 11th, 2023. Plus One, don't get me wrong, I know he makes good money off of the Dono factions, but it is a redundant towards both factions. When someone buys Marsoc, they no longer want to do activities or be involved with anyone except for fellow Marsoc players. If we're going to buddy buddy up in a faction, let's leave it up to the tier 1 factions that actually require some aspect of skill to get into. Not a tryout someone came up with using what are likely 8 month old documents from someone else RP fact. Eric Carp, April 13th, 2023. Plus one. In my opinion, it should be limited to three friends. That way, it doesn't steal from US or Tally. At this same time, during our Marsoc, we tell them it's a third life faction and don't main this faction, it's just for fun. People will not listen though, and will main the faction anyways. I don't see them getting removed ever but the class limits could hold only one person each, so you have to give your friends that one whitelist, and they can only have that whitelist. Since O55 has a strong LMG, and both GB and O55 are tier 3 factions, GB could compete better against the superior range and explosives that the O55 has. Rangers. Since Rangers set the standard for this whole suggestion, we believe that they are balanced. They are the Tier 2 Special Forces unit of the U.S. and current competitors of TSFU, Tally Tier 2. They have explosives, range, and strong CQC ability. They already use the battalion system, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th battalions, and perform amazingly together. They have a safe 3 cat limit to their powerful sniper class, much like what TSFU would have and can keep up with both GB and O55 for CQC. If people believe Rangers need a balance and or overhaul, please feel free, Rangers only, to comment and share your opinions and ideas. Horsey, posted April 10th, 2023. Yes, I understand Rangers ghosts act similarly to the Suicide Bomber class in that it's the SOC special class. But Rangers also has a fucking proxy mine, which in my personal opinion, is better than the Suicide Bomber. No one uses the current SVT-40. It's a semi-auto doggy-ass weapon, and honestly, the militant class is very underused as well. It's cause the Taws is also pretty doggy. 
We are getting a Suicide Bomber class nerf, and getting a better weapon that is going to be more likely to be used. If the tier system is set up in the way that it be meaning that Rangers and TSFU are the same tier, why wouldn't they both be more long range focused? I mean that seems like a higher caliber of skill than CQC. We are getting a Suicide Bomber class nerf, and getting a better weapon that is going to be more likely to be used. If the tier system is set up in the way that it be meaning that Rangers and TSFU are the same tier, why wouldn't they both be more long range focused? I mean that seems like a higher caliber of skill than CQC. TLDR, Rangers and TSFU are the same tier, so it would be fair to say they retain the same niches. Combatant and Militant are both classes that are extremely underused. Suicide Bomber is getting a nerf to bring TSFU on the same level as Rangers, and this seems completely fair. IDK what the sub-faction stuff is about, is splitting the faction in two and creating two different forms of leadership for almost every SOC faction. If that's what you're saying, it's something that I don't think POP can handle currently, but the class changes are def something that should be considered. Plus one, 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 one. Reactions. Ho what? One by Smitty. Agree by Sailor Def. Max the Eight. Posted April 12th, 2023. Plus one. Although I think the M95 is a better choice, because soon it will be unused. Sailor Death, posted April 12th, 2023. To me, the M95 seems a bit unrealistic for both the Taliban and our chances of getting it. It's a very high damage 50 cal that basically one shots no matter where you hit. Reactions, one ho what by Max the Ape. Max the Ape, posted April 12th, 2023. Dude, the SV-98 has identical damage. Two Ha Ha's by Shax and Ziggy. Sailor Death. Posted April 12th, 2023. So is the SR, but apparently Rangers can have that. Bonza. Posted Wednesday at 0902 p.m. Denied. Suggestion can be applied if you speak to the faction leaders. Also, please refrain from adding several forms of suggestions in one suggestion. This may be considered a mega suggestion and will be instantly denied in the future. Base Camp Suggestion by T. Pilksen 486. Posted March 14th, 2023. This post is intended to provide a list of suggestions for Garnet Gaming, as there is many changes needed in order to provide a fair battleground for all players of the server. Each topic covered in this document will be explained in detail after its title. For any suggestions to this document, please comment on the forum thread, and this document will be updated as so. In my time playing, I have noticed that there is a big issue with base camping. To counteract, I suggest a few ideas which act as alternatives to what might have been tried before. Base camping could kill the server. When I was still new, I did not know much about the game or map. I wanted to leave because I kept dying to Afghanistan. Here are some ways we could fix this. Number one, remove snipers from all classes. As the title states, this suggestion is to remove all snipers from the server. With how the server and map currently are, the map is heavily sniper based. This leads to a constant base camping for one side, which ruins the combat experience. If this suggestion is not liked, an alternative will be provided below. Number 2. Give all US Army above Corporal a sniper. This suggestion is meant to be followed if number 1 is not accepted. This will provide the player base a fair opportunity to play against those who have spent hundreds of dollars. I believe this will help solve base camping. Also, pay to win is against the Garry's Mod TOS. This would help solve that. Number 3. Add turrets to the walls of US base. Base camping is a serious problem today on the server. By adding turrets to the US base, it will provide a safe zone for US, which allows them to leave further out of base and keeps player retention. The turrets will provide a 3 second warning to those in render distance of US base 
giving them ample time to push back. Once the three second timer is up and the target is not out of US render, the turrets will activate and almost instantaneously kill the player. These would be an NPC. I am not sure what NPC could use. Number four, give Afghanistan less HP and give US army armor slash speed. As it stands, the US army has better equipment than Taliban. In order to follow realism, they should be starved, leading to a decrease in their HP. This will be followed by slightly increasing army power, giving US soldiers armor points. This will make US more powerful and help stop base camp. All US soldiers undergo rigorous training, which should translate onto the server. With outright buffing their HP, this can be added onto the armor suggestion, which would follow the logic of how every soldier is trained to be as fast and strong as possible. Number 5. Admin Spectate Admins should spectate wars. They can use a no clip to fly around and catch base campers. If they see one, they will respond the base camper and tell them to not do it again. Number 6. Addition of Base Defenders On the US side, we can add a faction called Base Defender Regiment. This faction would have members who defend the base as their job. They would not be able to leave base, but should have very good guns and technology. They may also have access to mortars from the base to help counteract base camp. They will be personally trained by Delta Force to ensure that they meet standards. This could be led by 11A Brigadier General Nelson. He would be a good leader for this regiment and could lead it to glory. Conclusion I do not expect that every suggestion posed here to be accepted, but it would be nice to see a majority of them added onto the server. As it stands now, Afghan has a total advantage over the US, which is not realistic. All suggestions here are open to changes and may be changed in the future. Reactions Ha Ha by Shax Dumb by Certified Mingle Disagree by Katowitz Bowl 22, posted March 14th, 2023. Denied. When posting, please refrain from mega-threading a bunch of ideas together. None of these suggestions slash ideas will be accepted. Add Smitty. Add Aussie. Reactions. Spicy. T. Pilkinson, 486.